The world is waiting. Discover and unlock the world's most unforgettable experiences with Get Your Guide. With over 60,000 curated experiences in Europe and other 3,600 destinations worldwide, you are guaranteed to find something unforgettable to do. From tickets to top sites to one-of-a-kind local tours, our experiences are designed to help you get fully immersed in the city and its local culture. Our app allows you to book, download, and access your tickets, no printing required. Free cancellation up to 24 hours before your activities and our 24-7 support, you can book your favorite activity with confidence. Get your guide. Discover unforgettable travel experiences. If you have a chance to plan a month-long trip to Europe, you have a chance to explore a variety of places in depth. It might be overwhelming to decide where to go on your European adventure. Here are three itineraries that you can use as they are, or you can use them as a starting point for your own customized itinerary. Welcome to Multicity Trips, the multi-destination travel expert for personalized multi-city trips to Europe. And in today's video, we bring you three of our favorite European itineraries that will let you absorb the best of Europe in one month. New to our travel channel? We post new videos every Monday and Thursday, so subscribe today and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our latest travel guide, inspiration, tips, and amazing travel itineraries available to your favorite destinations in Europe. To make the most of these European itineraries and travel guides, Check out our recommended flights, hotels to stay in, and more things you can do at each destination in the video description below. For a full list of recommendations mentioned in any of our travel itineraries, click on the link provided in the description to access the blog post version of this guide from our website. Itinerary 1. Western Europe if you've never been to Europe and are hoping to fit in as much as you can, this tour is for you. Start your trip in Paris. This classic European city is popular with tourists and locals alike. Spend at least a few days here visiting iconic sites such as the Louvre Art Museum or the Eiffel Tower and unwinding with a pastry at a sidewalk cafe. Paris is a city with a thriving culture you'll want to immerse yourself in so don't rush your time in this French city. After experiencing the rich culture and history of Paris, head to Luxembourg. Spend some time exploring the old quarter of this small European country. This historic neighborhood is a UNESCO World Heritage Site in itself, and is a winding maze of cobblestone alleyways and stone structures that you could spend days exploring. The Bach casements are another unique historic site in Luxembourg. It's a 10th century fortress, and the casements in question are storage areas for military weapons and other equipment. Although the Treaty of London ordered the fortress to be destroyed in an effort to ease tensions, the casements remain and were actually opened to the public in 1933 as a bomb shelter. You can visit today to learn about this historic site. After you get your fill of Luxembourg, continue on to Brussels. The city in Belgium is known for many things that you can spend your time exploring, but one of the most popular is its food. Waffles, chocolate, fries, and beer are all especially good when you try them in Belgium. And the country offers its own twist on these things you might think you're familiar with already, so be sure to give them a try when you're visiting. Make sure you spend at least one day in Belgium visiting Bruges. This can be a great day trip from Brussels, and you can spend your time wandering the picturesque streets. It's also a great place for traveling by boat. After all, Bruges is known as the Venice of the North. From Brussels, head to Cologne. Spend a day wandering through the German Chocolate Museum or the National Sports Museum. Two very different institutions, but they both will give you a glimpse into the city's culture. After four or five days in Cologne, you can venture onwards to Dusseldorf. This city is the capital of North Rhine-Westphalia, which is the most populous state in the country. Experience the city by taking a stroll on the Rheinufa Promenade. This river walk is best experienced at sunset. You can head to the Old Town area to try out any of the hundreds of bars and restaurants that call the neighborhood home. The Rhine Tower stands high above the city, offering incredible views from the observation deck or from the revolving restaurant. 
Next, head west to Frankfurt. Stop by the Rummerberg, a square lined with medieval buildings. You can stop at one of the many sidewalk cafes for lunch or simply admire the grandeur of this historic space. Art buffs will love a chance to explore the Stadel Museum as it hosts many 12th century works of art. The structure itself is historic as it was built in the 1800s. You can easily spend a few days exploring this museum and the many others that make up the city's museum district. Itinerary 2. The Balkans The Balkans are a group of countries in Eastern and Central Europe that are well worth a trip. Start your Balkans adventure in Albania. This country is not often high enough on European travel bucket lists, but it should be. Full of interesting cultural landmarks, UNESCO World Heritage Sites, and a fantastic outdoor landscape, there is something for every type of traveler here. Head to the city of Shkodra for a few days and visit the Rozafa Castle. The coastline of Albania also features beautiful beaches which are well worth a visit. After a few days in Albania, you can continue to Skopje, North Macedonia. The city is known for its eclectic collection of statues that are scattered throughout the various neighborhoods. You can also spend time visiting the Old Bazaar, a 12th century marketplace that is still operating to this day. You can grab some fresh food or a souvenir to mark your time in this incredible place. From Skopje, head east to find the Bulgarian city of Sofia. There are plenty of historic sites to explore, but you'll be especially pleased if you're a fan of the cultural arts. The city is home to legendary institutions such as the National Opera and Ballet of Bulgaria, the National Palace of Culture, the National Archaeological Museum, and the Surtica Amphitheater. From Bulgaria, head to Bucharest, Romania. This fantastic city is known for its architectural marvels and is known for having some of the fastest internet speeds in the world thanks to its huge concentration of IT companies. That said, you won't want to spend time browsing the internet when you have the city of Bucharest to explore. Next, spend some time in Montenegro. The coastal region of this country is located in the Lustica Peninsula and is home to the incredible Blue Grotto. This sea cave exists in such a way that the sunlight reflects off of the sandy ocean floor and creates a stunning effect inside the cave. When you enter, you'll be amazed by the iridescent blue waters inside. Montenegro also has several other beaches, about 117 in total. Spend some time relaxing here before traveling onwards. Finish your Balkans adventure in Dubrovnik, a coastal city in Croatia. This historic city is recognizable to many as it was used as the filming location for King's Landing in the hit HBO television show, Game of Thrones. Even if you're not a fan of the show, there are several incredible historic sites to visit and tours you can take to learn about the history of the city. Itinerary 3. Alpine Adventure the Alps are one of the most magnificent mountain ranges in the world, and if you're planning to spend a month in Europe, why not spend it exploring some of the Alpine countries? Start in Switzerland, where you can explore small, picturesque towns and soak in some truly remarkable views. There are several train routes that allow you to travel through the region, but if you have the chance to ride on the Glacier Express, then you should. The Glacier Express offers large windows covering the sides and the top of the train that allows passengers to get a truly unique view of the region. From Switzerland, head to Monaco. Many don't think of Monaco when they're planning a vacation through the Alps, but this country is a significant part of the region. Like with many other places in the area, you can find some unique opportunities to ski, cycle, and participate in other outdoor activities. Monaco lies on the coast, so you can also try your hand at sailing or other water activities. This country is also famous for its opulent casinos. After several days in Monaco, head to Italy. The Italian portion of the Alps lies on the northern tip of the country and is quite a distance from Rome, the Amalfi Coast, and the other famous Italian locations you might also want to visit. That said, you can easily take an excursion towards the southern part of the country. 
One of the highlights of the Italian Alps is Lake Como. This thriving resort area has been a famed getaway for centuries and provides stunning views and ample opportunities to relax and unwind. Next, head to the portion of the Alps that lie in the country of Liechtenstein. You can spend a few days here exploring the medieval castles, picturesque villages, and beautiful mountains before heading to Austria. There are plenty of grand palaces, beautiful gardens, and historic structures that you can tour to learn more about the country. If you're interested in outdoor activities, you'll have plenty of options to explore the stunning landscape while hiking, skiing, cycling, and more. There you have it, three of our favorite itineraries that will let you absorb the best of Europe in one month. We hope you find our itineraries and guides helpful, and if you are planning a trip inspired by our itineraries, ensure to check our recommended of the best flights, hotels you can stay in, and best things to do during your visit in the video description below. Need help planning and finding the best vacation package to Europe? Visit us at multicitytrips.com today and see how our travel experts can help you design and personalize your next vacation.